there, everybody? Hey, it's 2015. I think we should all look in the mirror and decide to make 2015 our best year ever. Now, for me, I'm going to make 2015 the year of the commitment. Now, it's one thing to set goals, but it's another thing to commit to them. Now, I know last week that Vanessa was talking about goal setting and the importance of goal setting and how goals keep us on track. Well, what I want to know this week is, is how are you going to hold yourself accountable in achieving those goals? How are you going to measure your success? You see, I've been a YMCA member for over 20 years. And this time of the year, the YMCA just fills up with brand new people. And some of the old veterans, the people that have been there, you know, year after year after year, kind of the running joke is, we all say to our, we say to ourselves, what are all of these people doing in our health club? Well, by the 21st of the month, all of those people are gone. Those are the people who made the New Year's resolutions and in three weeks, they completely forgot about it. Well, when we do events, all right, when we do the Treat Em Rights and the conventions and the regional events, and we have people walk across the stage, I can't tell you how many times people whisper in our ears, hey, this is the last time I'm walking across the stage as a senior manager. This is the last time I'm going to walk across the stage as an executive. Well, what happens is, is that the next event and the next event and the next event, they say the same thing all over again. You need to make a commitment and hold yourself accountable daily. Now, most of you probably don't know this, but about two years ago, I lost 52 pounds in 43 days. 52 pounds in 43 days. And how I did it was I made a commitment. I made a commitment to absolutely positively lose that weight. And I would write down my weight in a journal every single day. I would take pictures of myself every single day so that I could hold myself accountable. When I was building my MLM business, when I was building my network marketing business, I had a goal that I was going to meet with three people a day, three new people a day. Now, they didn't have to be personal. These could be people in my organization. Let's say I went and did a lunch meeting for somebody in my organization and they had three guests there. Well, that counted as my three. And I just said to myself, if I can make the commitment to getting in front of three new people a day, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do in order to reach my goal. Now, a friend of mine is a restaurant owner. And he's got a game plan that we all should take advantage of. What he does is he holds himself accountable for what happens in his restaurant on an hourly basis. What he does is he checks his register at 8 o'clock in the morning, at noon, and at 4. And when he checks his register at 8 o'clock in the morning, he knows that there should be a certain amount of money in there. At noon, he does the same thing, and at 4 o'clock, he does the same thing. Now, if he didn't check his register until four o'clock in the afternoon and there was a problem, it's too late. It's too late to fix it. So what he does, he checks his register at eight o'clock in the morning. And if there's not enough money in there, he says to himself, okay, something has to be wrong. Is the door locked? Um, is the sign off? Is something blocking traffic? And he's able to solve the problem in a relatively short period of time. Well, it, you can apply that to your sell-out cards business. We put together this document called the Daily Deadline. And this is an opportunity for you to hold yourself accountable every single day. If you take a look at this chart, figure out where you are and figure out how many people should be joining your organization on a daily basis. All right? And I'm not talking about you personally. I'm talking about you and your entire organization. For example, if you're a senior manager, if you did not have at least two people join your organization today, there's something wrong. Well, if you waited till the end of the month to try to figure out what the problem was, it's too late. But if you check your daily deadline every single day and you say to yourself, all right, nobody entered my group today, something's wrong. You've got the rest of the month to figure it out. See guys, personally sponsoring, sponsoring reps are the lifeblood of your organization. But in building a team is where wealth is created. Now, how are you going to track all this? Well, I suggest weekly meetings, weekly trainings, and working with the right people. Working with the right people. Listen, you need to work with people who have the same vision that you do. 
It is really difficult to try to re-motivate people on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, on a daily basis. Take your positive energy and work with the people who want to get this thing done. Um, make, it, make it almost impossible for somebody to give you an excuse why they can't build their send out cards business. Make sure that they have the tools necessary for them to be successful. Now, will everybody go out and build it? I don't know. But we can't give them an excuse to say, well, I didn't have this, I didn't have this. Weekly meetings, weekly trainings, conference calls, webinars, working with the right people. And listen, don't worry about minor setbacks. When I was going through my weight loss, if I had you know, maybe gained a pound one day, I said to myself, okay, that's fine because the next day I'm going to lose two. That's the way I looked at it. Keep the big picture in sight. All right, look at the big picture. And when you build your send out cards business, the big picture is financial freedom. Financial freedom. Guys, make 2015 your best year ever, and we'll talk to you soon.